Hey YouTube, we at it again. Doing old school today, no gimbal. And the gimbal messed up on me twice on the last recording. I think the battery had died, so I gotta charge it. But we are out here in Douglasville. We had a one of the day. And I say this house is nice. Ain't too often I go in the house and I'm like really impressed. Like wow, this, this is really nice. But this is really nice. And it's on 360,000 in Douglasville. Nice neighborhood. You know, the cul de sac. When you look at the house from the inside and you look out the back door, it look like you ain't got no land. But that's because of all the land over here. You got a lot of land. I ain't walk through the grass. I just dry my feet off. Walk through the first time. It was grass a little wet. So I'm gonna stay on the thing. How you doing, neighbor? Nah, I'm the agent. I'm a real estate agent. I'm recording it for somebody. Oh, you know I went through. It fell out. It fell out. It went back on the market. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get you a new neighbor though. Recording this now for my client. Uh, I'm have to walk in the grass. Come around here, gas appliances, brick front, five bedrooms, four baths. I'm gonna hit walk through this wet grass again. And it's windy out here, so you might hear the wind. And volume but I'm gonna walk in real quick entrance view nice hardwood floors this can be your dining room or it can be your, your sitting room however you want to set it up let me show you why I say that could a keeping room on the breakfast area so big if you wanted to make it dining you could and make this like the sitting room come in this house was under contract as you just heard her say so I guess when they did their inspection and they, they stuff like that, when people ask for new appliances, because all the appliances are brand new. I mean, just put in there. Brand new refrigerator, brand new stove, brand new microwave, all gas. But this is your keeping room or your breakfast area, and it's really big. So if you wanted to make this a dining area and use that as like a sitting room, you could. Well, let me show you something unique that I ain't never seen before. This is the biggest pantry I've ever seen. I mean, like, you ain't got to worry about food ever. You come in here and fill this up one time, you good for about six months. The biggest pantry I've ever seen. You got, you got a wet bar. Come over here, you got your family room with your fireplace. Outside access right here to go out there on the back porch. Not change the lock, it's rusted. Yeah, I can't get it open. Lock rusted. Nope, can't get it. So yeah, first thing, you gotta have to change the lock. But it take you out there to the back porch. Let's see if you can see it through the back porch. Come on back this way. You got a lot of closets, which my client like got a half bath right here. He said they got a lot of stuff moving from New York. I know he liked this. A lot of closets. Coat closet here. Coat closet here. And you got two-car garage. Real good size two-car garage. Both motors work. The garage door openers in there on the kitchen counter. Hot water heater looked like it's updated. And it said it was under contract and it was supposed to have been closing. So a lot of the stuff that a lot of work been done already which is great <laughs> you come in you might get a clean inspection report you just be able to close and i know you said in this house you got nice size closets in every room yeah look at this this is the guest room right here guest bedroom on the first floor guest bedroom or in-law suite if you got your in-law staying with you could have got their own bathroom I guess it'd be an in-law suite more so than a guest bedroom because you don't want the guests to have their own bed, bathroom. It might not leave. Got to defeat the purpose of being a guest. Let's head upstairs. Carpet's been cleaned. I probably should take my boots off. <laughs> Look like they cleaned the carpet and I'm walking on the carpet with these boots out there grass. But it's got a little lounge area. If you want to make an office, I seen a lot of people put the little Peloton 
treadmills. Be right here. Make it to a little office if you want. That's the master. We're going to do that last. It's bedroom number two. High ceilings. Nice size bedroom. Walk in closet. Light switch. And I'm going to forget to cut them all off. Watch. Always do. Got to do better. Come in here. Wash it and dry. Laundry room. This is bedroom number three. Decent sized bedroom. Walk in closet. He said he loved the closet space, which is a plus. So it's bedroom three. This is bathroom two and a half. So we had two and a half with the bathrooms. Then you got bedroom number four. Come over here. So we had four bedrooms, two and a half so far. Not a walk-in closet in this one. This one got a regular closet. So this would be more the guest room. Small closet. So I might get too comfortable. You got your linen closet. All right, we're in the bedroom number five. This thing nice. Bedroom number five. You got a sitting room. Big, huge bedroom area. Oh, you can make that the bedroom. And make this the sitting area. You got your bathroom right here. Bathroom need to be updated. But nice bathroom. Nice size. Separate shower. Separate tub. So far, I got everything you want. Water closet. And he loved this, too. His and hers. This would be the his. His and her closet. The his walk in. Gonna we'll walk down here towards the sitting area. Nice size sitting area. He a good profile of the room. Room really big. Come into the hers walk in closet, which is bigger, but less shelves. So I don't know which one is more important. The so ladies is it a bigger closet or more shelves in the closet. So this is the bigger closet, it just ain't got as much shelves. Shelves. Cut that out. And then you got a balcony. Master bedroom bedroom got its own balcony. Put your small side furniture out here. You see all the yard, all the land space over there. Got plenty of land. Really boring. But all in all, this is a really nice house. I'm gonna try to hit these lights as we go back downstairs. I'm getting better with the lights. Alright, that's off. I cut one more. Ain't mean to that. Cut this off. Where the switch it? Okay. Alright, cut this one off. Hit this. As I say in every video, all the details will be in the description. Like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you think. Type of houses you into, type of things in this house you like, type of things you don't like. If you're interested in the home buying process, comment, let me know. Call my phone number on it as well. We can explain the process to you and get you on the go. Anything you need to know. All my contact information is below. I got most of these lights. Head downstairs. Let y'all see out the front door. And as always, we out of here, YouTube. I always say that, then I walk a little farther. So I'm going to wait <laughs> for now until I get to the door. And then we send it off for that. We out of here, YouTube. See you next time.